Kispeptin is an underrated peptide for not only boosting testosterone, but also fertility. So I'm gonna go over its mechanisms of action. Then I'm gonna go into my own personal reasons for using it, even while I'm on TRT. Yes, you heard that right. Kispeptin works by directly stimulating neurons in the hypothalamus to produce gonadotropin releasing hormone. And what that does downstream is get the pituitary gland to produce luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. And what that does is get your testes to produce uh, testosterone obviously and stimulate uh, spermatogenesis as well. There have been a few studies with kispeptin in men like hypogonadal men and it has been shown to actually increase testosterone, big jumps in luteinizing hormone but there needs to be more studies on it. But there's been lots of anecdotal reports and people report back you know uh, differences of like 30 to 50 percent in their total testosterone. Free testosterone seems to be a lot more moderate and I, I believe the reason is there's a more SHBG, sex hormone binding goblin, so then that, that obviously yeah, translates into a, not a disproportionately uh, lower increase in free testosterone. And from what I've heard directly back from people, around that figure of 20% or so increase in total testosterone is feasible. Obviously, if you've got low luteinizing hormone in conjunction with low testosterone, those are the best candidates for it. And to help moderate SHBG, doing things like uh, boron, vitamin D and DHEA can now help uh, moderate that. And so you don't get such a disproportionate increase in total testosterone in relation to free testosterone. As well, being on testosterone replacement therapy certainly does have some health span benefits. Shutting down your HPG access might not be ideal for lifespan. So moving on to the reasons why I'm taking Kispeptin, I've been on TRT for nearly four years now. I've been gradually finding my right dose. I was on injections and now I'm on the cream. And my luteinizing hormone, when I last checked it, was still registering pretty much zero. Same with uh, FSH as well. So uh, yeah, and I have seen it with people, people who've given me their bloods, looking at um, LH and FSH. You know, when they're on cream, it's possible to have some level of it. It's about finding the right dose. And that's why over this last year or so I've been on cream, I've gradually been reducing the dose from 100 milligrams uh, daily or I do it twice a day so it's 50 milligrams twice a day I was doing at the start of it that's when I was testing last year kind of going from 100 down to 90 down to 80 and now I'm down to 75 daily so that's 37.5 twice a day so I think at that level I may uh, when I do my testosterone test next in August I may have some LH and FSH Check out our 12 month rejuvenation program where every three months we look at 225 different biomarkers and get your future vitality optimized. There's even a six month break clause if your situation was to change. As I touched on earlier, HPG suppression in some rodent models has been shown to shorten lifespan. So, you know, aging the pituitary gland as well as the hypothalamus as well. And then you've got mitochondrial dysfunction in those testicular cells. So to start my cycle, I'll actually be doing HCG just for four weeks in conjunction with the Kispeptin. But uh, with HCG, that's like a mimic of luteinizing hormone. So long term, that's why I'm going to be doing the Kispeptin, just cycling it. And yeah, in conjunction with now I'm on the right dose, because I, I believe with Kispeptin, say if you're on high dose TRT, you know, doing, you know, you're probably actually getting outside the actual endogenous realistic range. You're, you're never going, the Kispeptins, you're going to get very, very limited uh, success with that. I think it's Kispeptin, if you are natural, yeah, and you've got low luteinizing hormone, those are the best candidates. Or if you are on TRT, like I said, doing the bioidentical cream, because uh, that's closest to uh, natural production, uh, the, the, the pulsatile nature of it being so frequent and uh, yeah so you may have some level of lh and fhh so that could just work in tandem with the kispeptin as endogenous pulses of gonadotropin releasing hormone and luteinizing hormone can indirectly impact other hormones like dhea igf1 and ampk all uh, aspects for longevity and that's the whole aim of this channel is trying to find the best of both worlds because yes, TRT has been a game changer for me compared to having low testosterone. 
but it's about trying to uh, get the best version of TRT, so uh, most natural, healthiest way. So uh, look, when I look at my pace of aging, when I last did it back in February, it was 0.76. I did it at the, around the middle of May. So three months later, I'm expecting to be in the 0.6s, stay in that for a while, and then maybe get into the 0.5. So doing every little thing I can, because it's the most well-trained clock out there for just finding out how fast you're aging. and not having any hormones crushed down to kneel is the best strategy because that's just not a natural way of being. So for this cycle of Kispectin, I'm gonna be doing 250 micrograms three times a week. So that'll last me six and a half weeks this cycle. And then I'll have a similar amount of time off and see how I fare. Also for this first cycle, I'm gonna be doing HCG, which is an LH mimic. So it doesn't work off that endogenous HPG access. But because I've been shut down for coming up to four years now on TRT, I really wanna kickstart those testicles. So yeah, I'm very excited to see those numbers, LH and FSH in August, as well as seeing my pace of aging gradually coming down too. And it's a very cheap peptide, Kiss Peptin. I get it from Peptides of London, a very reasonably priced recent testing uh, on all their products as well and then they've got uh, epitalon it's going into it's currently uh, in a trial with a, a top university where they're testing it where they're doing a study on its effect on telomere length in vitro as well as uh, its effect on cancer cells so if you like that video then check out this one on epitalon thanks for watching see you next time